What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm talking F45 and CrossFit, what is the difference? Now if you're looking for a comparison video where these two are going head to head, this is not the video for you. The purpose behind this video is to educate people around what is the difference between F45 training and CrossFit. Maybe you do one or the other or you do neither of them and you don't understand the differences or maybe they look the same from the outside. It's just for educational purposes to help people out. Now I've run F45s for a number of years. I've also done CrossFit on and off over the years as well. I've got good friends that train at both gyms and operate and own both gyms as well. So I think I'm in a really good position to basically help people out and educate people when it comes to what are the differences between the two. In my profession, professional opinion, these are probably the two best multi-modality types of training on the market. So if you are watching this and you're wondering to go for one or the other, I would encourage you to do either of them. They're both going to get you amazing results. You can do either at any fitness level as well. So please feel free to jump into it. I would highly encourage you if you're looking to get lean, put on some strength, have some fun with it. They are both amazing for that one as well. So we're talking about two high quality types of training and I'm going to jump straight into it. Now it's probably best to start with the general crux of how both of these types of training are designed because I think it's good to understand that and a lot of what I'm about to talk about filters down from that one as well. So I'll explain it to you the best way I'd explain it to other people is that CrossFit is generally a bit more like a sport and F45 is generally a bit more geared towards body composition. Now they both do both. I really don't want to get my words muddled up with that one. So CrossFit also does emphasize body composition. Absolutely. And they get phenomenal results and F45 still do build up towards the playoffs. So I'm not saying these are totally exclusive, but generally speaking, CrossFit is more geared towards a sport, CrossFit Games, and F45 is generally geared towards more body composition. So you'll see as I'm talking through the different components of it, generally speaking, a lot of it gets filtered down from the CrossFit Games, and a lot of what F45 does starts at that crux, that core kind of uh, market, and builds its way up. So now let's look at the movements between the two different types of gyms. Both of these have a ton of variations. So if you're looking for variation in your training and your movements, you're gonna get rid of these. Now the key difference is that with CrossFit, they've added in, there's weightlifting, so think like your cleans, your clean and jerks, um, all those kind of movements. And there's also gymnastics movements in there. And there's a lot more technical movements. Um, you've got things like double unders and those kind of things. So weightlifting and um, gymnastics are probably the key ones. And there's a lot of technical movements in there as well. So with F45, there's a ton of movements in there as well, but you're not gonna do things like a barbell snatch or chest bars or ring muscle ups or any of those kind of things as well. So that's a really key difference between it. Now, when it comes to the movements itself, they both do your general strength movements squats, deads, um, chest press, those kind of things, they will both do that. So if you go to a normal gym, think of your normal kind of movements, they use the compound lifts, they'll both have that heavily involved in the programming. With CrossFit as well, a lot of the movements have specific standards to them, which align to the CrossFit games. So think about things like box jumps. When you do one at CrossFit, you're locking out the top of the movement and jumping off for one full repetition. And that's because when you start to compete at towards the CrossFit Games, CrossFit Open, you need to have specific standards in there that they can measure really easily. Chest bars is a good example. One of the reasons why they do keeping pull-ups and chest bars is because when you're counting the reps, your chest touches the bar, one rep nice and simple. So that way they've got that across a vast a range of their movements to make it a competition between it. F45 is less geared towards that, so there's less movement standard. So a box jump, for example, you might not lock your legs at the top of the movement. Your chin ups are like your strict chins, but when you're doing an F45 class, you're not gonna get no reps when you're doing something. Whereas in CrossFit, the coaches will no rep you because again, it's gearing up towards the competition. Both heavily focused on technique and doing it correctly and safely, of course. Uh, but that's a really key difference between the two. Goals and outcomes of both these types of training. Now, as I said earlier, they're both multi-modality training formats, which means the training strength and conditioning, you're doing a huge variation of exercises, you're gonna get um, a lot of different outcomes from this as well. Now, both of these target basically everything, that's how they're designed to work as well. So if you're doing CrossFit, you're gonna get leaner, you're gonna get stronger, same with F45. Generally speaking, CrossFit will do more strength work. So you're gonna do a bit more heavier lifts and those kind of things than F45. F45 is obviously HIT training, so time on, time off. There's generally less rest periods within F45 as well. So if you wanna compare them, F CrossFit's probably slightly more geared towards strength and F45 is probably slightly geared more towards um, cardio, but they both target everything. So there's not a huge difference between the two if you're looking to get um, the best out of yourself with these. Now next is the business structures. Now this is important because it does affect the programming a little bit as well. 
So F45 is a franchise model. So all the businesses across the globe are franchised to F45. CrossFit is a license, which means you become an affiliate of CrossFit, their head office. Now, why does this matter? With F45, when you're doing your programming or when you're doing your sessions, it's the same globally. So if you're in London and you're a friend in Sydney, you're both doing the same workout on the same day. Doesn't matter where you are in the whole world as well. It comes from a centralized HQ. With CrossFit, uh, it does depend on what the um, coaches want to do, what the owners want to do, and how they want to program, but they also do get heavily influenced from their head office as well, but they will be able to change the programming. So what this means is if you go to your local CrossFit, um, someone else might go to one in a different state, you will probably be doing a different workout um, on that day as well. But having said that, because they gear up towards the CrossFit Games and they generally do the Open, which is the competition leading into CrossFit Games, a lot of similarities between generally how you train at CrossFit, but they are going to be different um, programming depending on what studio or what box you go to. Now, neither of these are better or worse. It's probably just good to know that F45 has a centralized training structure and CrossFit will obviously build their own programming within their affiliate. All right, next up is coaches. Now, coaches are the single most important thing to the success of your gym and to the success of your clients period. Also, I would go as far to say that the owners and the coaches will make or break either of these styles. So you really need to put a high importance of it. Now, both of the coaches need to have their professional accreditation um, as per your Cert 3, Cert 4s within your um, countries or wherever you are. And both of these have um, academies or other training programs you need to do. So CrossFit coaches, I believe they need to do a level one coaching within their head office. And there's different levels to that one as well. So if you want to keep progressing, they give you the ability to do that but I do think they need to do the level one at a minimum before they can start coaching at a box. Generally speaking as well, CrossFit, just because of the movements that evolve with it, they will take some time out to do technique sessions, maybe within a workout itself, where they actually teach you how to do snatches. They might regress how to do a muscle up or something like that as well. They have technique sessions built into the programming as well, but it just depends on the box um, and where you're up to with it as well. F45 have what's called the academy. So you need to do the academy courses before you can coach on the floor as well. Um, so that way it teaches you what the movements are, how to coach, um, how to get the best out of people, how to really progress people as well. So both of them have their own accreditations, but they also need to be professionally coached. Personality comes into it as two, but that's obviously depending on the person. Communities and sizes of the gyms. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, they are very similar. So there's small um, gyms or communities within each of these as well, so get involved with it. Generally speaking, the classes are between 20 and 40, just depending on how the size of your studio is, or the size of your box. Um, but the communities are really, um, it does sometimes feel like a bit of a cult, but that's amazing guys. If you're a part of a community, you're gonna train more. If you train more, you're gonna get better results. So they're very similar in that regard. Next up is competitions. Now there is the CrossFit Games and there's the F45 Playoffs. Now the CrossFit Games, I think is such an awesome concept. So they're basically trying to test who's the fittest on earth and they can test you out on anything. All the studios will do what's called the CrossFit Open, or most of the studios, I should say. The CrossFit Open is an online competition to qualify for the games as well. So there's a bit of a progression with regards to working your way up as you get towards the CrossFit Games. It's huge. It's such a big competition. Um, you've probably seen it on TV as well. They've got some, a whole bunch of athletes on there. They make it a professional sport, which I love. Now, the F45 Playoffs is more of a fitness test they've turned into a competition. So the idea is it's a 10 minute workout that every studio can do to give you a score that you can test again and again, kind of like a beep test, which is gonna test your strength out, your agility, um, your endurance, and all those kind of things within a 10 minute format. And they're basically, all the studios around the world are encouraged to do it regularly with their members so they can see how they're progressing over time and then they turn it into a competition as well. Now they're both a ton of fun as well. The CrossFit game is definitely more established. Both have individual and team events when it comes to it as well, but anything to keep you guys encouraged and engaged is a ton of fun. So I'd highly recommend you getting involved no matter which studio you go to. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said earlier, this is meant to be an educational video. So if you do say CrossFit and understand a little bit more about F45 or vice versa, that is my main takeaway from it. If you've done neither and just want to understand the differences, I hope you learnt a little something from it as well. I'd highly encourage everyone to stay fit, stay healthy, stay strong. I think these are both amazing and phenomenal types of training as well. I love the multi-modality that comes with it too. If you like my content, guys, please subscribe down below and enjoy your training.